Hello everybody, this is Vertical Sandwich, and welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Wah! Hey, there's the rupee. Okay, uh, and, you know, okay, you, a, a while back in an LP I said, like I was talking about my new job, and I said it seems like I'm doing like half a person's job. Okay, well they let me do the whole, they made me do the whole thing. Like the whole part, like stacking the magazines like in the things and like binding them and then like putting the sleeves around them and stuff and like it's a little more than one person's job it was rough it was only my third day so I just thought I'd let you guys know cuz I know you care alright so we have to go to Lon Lon Ranch so oh uh, you know actually we might it might be smart for us to go to Kakariko Village and get the Sun Song huh cuz it's obviously well, we can't do that during at the at night either, really. All right. Well, I guess we're going to Lon Lon Ranch at night. That'll work. So it's in the middle of this field. Obviously, everybody knows that. Everybody knows that. And everybody also knows that you can kill these zombies pretty easily, right? That they're not, but they're not any threat to you at all. Like, they'll never, they never, they just don't have the ambition to beat you up. So you don't have to worry about it. Okay. Ha! That one was coming up as we were going in. Alright, so this is Lon Lon Ranch. And, uh, we can't really, um, well, we can do some stuff here during the night. So, it makes, kinda, it makes sense to be here, kinda. So, uh, I think if we go over here, yeah! Now, you've got to watch, because there are birds flying around here at night, and they're nasty! They're mean, they're super mean birds. Super mean. See, there they are. And they're the most obnoxious, they're the, no, they're the second most obnoxious enemy in the game. Keeses. Keys are the most obnoxious enemies in the game. So right over here we have another another Skulltula. So Wow I got a token proving I destroyed it. There's actually several gold Skulltulas around here, but that's the only one we can we can get right now. Or those are the only two. There's one up on this wall we we're gonna need another item for and So uh, we'll go in here because I believe that there is a heart container. And by believe, I mean no. Um. Moo! Those cows are evil. They're evil cows. I can't prove it, but. Oh no, come on. Come on, come on. No, I wanna. I wanna. I wanna grab this thing. Okay. We've just gotta. There's an opening. Uh, back here. That I'm uh, pretty sure we can get to. Yes, it's right there. So if we just do this, I think we can get behind here and then push it. There we go. Look at that heart container. It's awesome. Wait, where is it? Oh, there we go. Woohoo! I've completed the heart container! And this is a pretty, I don't know, I mean, it's a nice amount of life to be at. Although there's another heart container you you could get normally, like if we hadn't gotten the crazy roof jump one. Which, that was so awesome. Like, I've n I never expected that to work. Alright. Yeah! That's what I was going for. I just wanted to jump slash the cows. And now I have. So now my life is complete. Alright. I was try I'm, I'm, I'm trying to strafe out of here. There we go. This is what I want to do. Because uh, this place is just painful. It's just painful. 
Well, I guess not really. It's There's really no kind of hardship to being here at night. It is nice to... Well, I mean... Again, if we'd done this stuff in, in good order, like when we were at Kakariko Village, uh, we could have... Uh, we could have gotten the Sun Song and come here and made it night. All right, well, we outran that bird, I think. There we go. We got out. So now we've just got to worry about zombies. Or whatever those things are. They're zombies. So uh, normally I would, like I said, normally I would strafe to kind of get across here. But I actually want to make it daytime. So. So we'll make it daytime. It's going to be a little while before we go into the next dungeon. Because, like, there are a few things I want to get out of the graveyard. And... Uh, I don't know. There's probably other stuff we could do if we were smarter. Oh, does moving faster make it become day faster? Uh, maybe, maybe that makes sense. I don't know why that would make sense, but... Anywho. It doesn't really matter. So, there we go. Perfect. Listen to that drawbridge come down. So noisy. Great. I love it. I love every bit of it. Alright. Kakariko Village. Apparently, by the way, if you hit those chicken things too much, like if you really beat up on them, they will murder you. They will kill you and there's nothing you can do about it. I had no idea. Some other time maybe we'll show that. All right, so this is the house of Skulltula, and uh, like these these people have all been turned into these things, and we can talk to them. And you're lying, I'm cursed. All right, but then if we talk to this one, he's uncursed because we got ten, we killed ten gold Skulltulas. So here's a reward. We got an adult's wallet. Adults are allowed to carry a lot of money. Now, we can hold up to 200 rupees. So that's nice. Adults are allowed to carry... Adults are allowed to carry a lot of money, but they often don't, because most adults are broke. The majority of adults are broke. Wait, I don't... No, I don't care about your cuckoos, or whatever. Like, or cuckoos. Yeah, we... Like, we already did that for you, and you let them go again. So you're SOL, lady. Alright. So, if we go into the graveyard... There's stuff we can do. So. Uh, the first thing we want to do is uh, this. If we read the Royal Composer Bros, Sharp the Elder, who is Mario, essentially. We are, we are defeating the ghost of our last LP. Oh, I had him. He was be was a he's a jerk. I see you, buddy. Did I get him? Good. All right. So now he's a ghost that we can talk to. I think. Nah, you killed me! Unbelievable! Oh, oh, wait, I mean... Oh, what? You're not one of Ganondorf's men, are you? Because of my role as a ghost, I had to act like that, I apologize. Now then, let me introduce myself. I am, I am Mario! I am one of the ghostly composer brothers of Kakariko Village. All of the people in this village are born to serve the royal family of Hyrule. We are brothers also serve the royal family, and we're assigned to study the hereditary mystic powers of the family. Though we never could figure out the power of the Triforce, we had almost completed our study of controlling time with the tones of Ocarina's. Ah, uh, I mean, actually we did complete that study. We would have been famous if that hateful Ganondorf had not tried to steal our results. We could never let him reap the fruits of our research. Did I turn into Dracula? That's why we gave our lives to protect the secret. 
Do you want to hear what I said again? No. Alright. So that's not enough. Because we have to wake up Luigi. And there he is. Come here, Luigi. Alright. Okay. And they'll go into the mountain. You just gotta wait for him to come back out. They'll wander around like idiots. They're pretty easy to beat. Alright. So what does this one say? Yeah, I'm a dead again. What? You again? Somehow you remind me of Princess Zelda. Hmm, since you have some connection with the royal family, I would tell you a little more of our tale. Back then, people called us great composers because of the many musical masterpieces we wrote. But we brothers were not just composers. We had a mission to analyze the mysterious powers of Hyrule's royal family. Our names would be a part of Hyrule's history if we could complete our research. We kept our study extremely secret until we completed it. To tell the truth, each of us was studying a different song, one to summon the sun and another to summon the moon. If you were really sent by a member of the royal family, I would tell you about the results of our study. We inscribed it on the royal tombstone. As a messenger of the royal family, you should show your royal credentials on top of the Triforce mark. Do you want to hear what I said again? No. Alright. So, we stand here and play this, I think. Right? Isn't this the... I'm taking a drink. Alright. Okay, we did it. We proved that we are people from the royal fa- or something. I don't know. Whoa! Okay, that was creepy. That was that was cool, but it was creepy. Wow, we just blew up that gravestone. We're teen vandals. All right, down we go. The devil in me. All right, this place, pain in the butt. We don't have to. Oh, we do have to kill the keyses. Oh no! All right, this stinks. Yeah, there. I got two of them anyway. And where are the other ones? All right. Because there's got to be one left. I can hear it. Where are you, jerk bat? Huh. Interesting. Huh. Oh! Crazy! There we go. God, I could have I, I could have ran around forever and never found that stupid thing. Alright, well, you know what? That was nothing compared to what we've got going on now. Cause the next room. Oh yeah. Readeds! Oh my god, the creepiest things ever! Let me go! Oh my lord! No! Stay away from me! Ah, oh, jeez. I hate Redead so much. Oh my god. This poem is dedicated to the memory. Okay, so it gives us a song. I'm not reading that. I'm too freaked out. The rising sun will eventually set. A newborn's life will fade. From sun to moon, moon to sun. Give peaceful rest to the living dead. This is an interesting poem, huh? Something is inscribed on the tombstone. It's the secret melody of the Composer Brothers. Alright. This, this is the song you're going to play most of this entire game. So, And it'll help us kill the Redeads, which is nice. Because I don't, I don't need another game over.
Oh, did we just make it night? <laughs> it's kind of lame. Anyway. So. Rest the souls wander where they don't belong. Bring them calm with the sun song. See, now that's a poem. Alright, let me check that again. Real quick. Sun song? Okay, got it. I remember these by the circles they make, so. Alright, so we play the sun song, and it stuns the redeads. Which doesn't help us if we're falling in this garbage. All right, so now if we could just get past the keyses, which I'm sure have respawned, uh, we'll be all right. Okay. So I'm going to play the sun song again just to get rid of the, uh, the deals that, um, I don't know, uh, pose, pose, that's it. The, uh, yeah. Alright, and I believe, uh, if we push this grave, maybe we have to push it this way. No, it's, oh, we could pull it. Oh, we can't do that with that kid around? That kid's like a twerp. Alright, well, anyway, uh, I'm pretty sure we could pull this one. Seriously? Oh, we have to do this at night, I guess. I should have known. I should have known. Alright. So now that stupid kid's gone, we can uh, cause some trouble. And no one will tell Dompe. Because Dompe is running around. Okay. So... All right, let's try to kill a redead. Oh God! No! No! The redead killed me. All right, everybody. Uh, I guess this is a good place to stop the video. Uh. So, I'll talk to you guys next time when we do this right. Bye, everybody.